Mess with me. Uh-huh. So, um, Mess in a Bottle is a t-shirt company, and we put messages on t-shirts, and they come packaged in a reusable bottle. Okay, okay. So, like, have any customers um, come to you about, like, So I call my peoples the messengers. Um, and I think like the big part of the brand is to really spread the message. You know, um, so Mess in a Bottle really stems from the 310 BC concept of receiving a message in the mm-hmm. ocean. So like this is one of those things where like the people who are followers and people who, you know, we want people to um, to really follow and share the message. And, you know, the... Mess in a Bottle was really created so that you can stand in solidarity with one another. So it's for you to be walking on the street for somebody to see, see you and be like, yeah, you know, they get you, they understand you, and they know that you guys are fighting for the same cause. How long does it typically take you to make a message? Um, To create it or to actually... Or like come up with the idea, like what this message is going to be. <sighs> so, you know, Mess in a Bottle, the messages really come from things that's going on around us. And honestly, it's one of those things where it's like instantaneous, where I'm like, I'll see something or, you know, we have things that's going on in politics, love, life, career, everything. Or a friend could tell me a story and I'm like, girl, that's a message. Like, you know, so I think it really comes instantaneous where I'm like, oh, you know, it spews out of me. I'm like at the supermarket writing down messages. Okay, so if anybody knows you or if anybody follows you on IG, you can see that you're like in every part of the process of, from creating a message to pressing it to getting it out, what do you do to decompress? I run to decompress. How 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 many miles? I run miles. I be I'm I'm on it. Like so, this weekend, um, real time, I did six six and a half miles. Okay. And so my goal, you know, I like to one of my goals is to run marathons around the world. And so um, I ran the New York City Marathon um, a couple years ago. And, you know, we won't say if I crawled, walked, but I finished. So that's that's all that counts, you know. Um, and so running is just one of those things that's really therapeutic. And I run with a group called um, the Riot Squad. And it's running is um, our therapy. And honestly, it's one of the most therapeutic things that I think anyone can do. And so running is my jam. That's my thing. Okay. Um, if you could leave somebody in charge of the shop. Ooh. For, for a week. For a week, okay. Mm-hmm. Who would it be and what would you do to prep them? All right, if I could leave anybody, okay, I can't pick Kaden because by the time <laughs> y'all come back, the shop will be upside down and around. Um, I would say Miss Dion. So Miss Dion is definitely, and don't tell nobody else, y'all don't 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 tell the others because then they're gonna be mad at me. But um, I say Miss Dion. Miss Dion has been with me now the longest, and you know Miss Dion just knows me. So even if the others might be by the book, and she gets, you know, and they're like, no, this is by the book. This is you know protocol. Miss Dion is definitely the person to be like. But Kay likes it this way, okay. and so I think that she will hold down the fort, and she a pop. She holds it down, <laughs> and I like riders. Like I like team members that's gonna hold it down no matter what. Okay, so you you go alive. Don't, you don't just show, like, the wins. You show, like, the losses or the low moments. Yes. Why do you think it's important for a creative to do that or to give their audience that much insight? So I think that everything is not sunshine. Like, to get sunshine, you need the storm. Mm-hmm. You need the tears. You need the difficult parts. And I think that, unfortunately, a lot of us are showing the pretty picture, and they're not really showing, like, these parts of it that's making you smile. So, like, today, to have a content creation day where my staff is participating and we smile and we're having fun is because we really did get through a rough patch, a rough period, and we now feel like we're finally getting over that hump. So I think it's just imp- it's important for me, you know, especially because right now we glorify entrepreneurship. We glorify it because I think everybody's like, be an entrepreneur, it's dope, it's cool, it's, you can make your own whatever. And yes, um, to some extent, but I think that it's important for me to tell people like, yes, it's beautiful and it's it's amazing thing once you've mastered it, but you have a lot of work in between that to get to those happy mm-hmm. places. So I just think, you know, I'm just a realist in my own little faith non-real way um, because you know I like to think that the world sometimes is all flowers and I know it's you know not um, but at the end of the day I think that 
I don't mind. You know, crying is not, so that's a natural emotion. You're going to cry the same way you're going to smile. So for me, I think that it's just good to keep things real. Okay. So I think to date, the most popular message without words is the meme mug. Mm-hmm. What made you choose that one? So the meme mug is such, you know, I think there's a phrase, sophisticated ratchet, like that's me a thousand percent. So if you think about it, all the messages that we have are really representation of who I am. You know, I create messages really for me and it's like the rest of the world loves it. I'm like, oh good, thank you, you know, but it's for me. Um, And so meme mug is just one of those things, like I love grills, I have grills, I'm a, you know, trap star in my past life, you know, Um, (laughs) Jay-Z told me I was moving keys from state to state like you know this is this so i kind of believe that that's what i was doing but t-shirts is my weight and you know so for me i think the meme mug just really um personifies like that type of person Mm -hmm. it's just like this um intellectual thug that you know and i think all of us especially we live i you know we live in a city right now that's like it's this hardcore but on the inside you're still real soft so i think me mug really represents that for me okay what's the one design you keep in rotation um the one design we keep in rotation i'll say definitely um strong ass Mm -hmm. and um a black woman created this like, those are staples that I think are probably never going to go anywhere. Okay. When things get too hard as far as with the business, what's, like, that reassurance factor for you? That I know that tomorrow's going to be better, you know? Okay. Like, I think that it's not even, it, yes, it's my son's smile and all that good stuff. It's me knowing, like, all right, you got this. Or even, and really, it's the, it's the messengers and the people. You know, because honestly, I get so much love where people are like, you're going to be fine. And like, you start to believe it. Like, if it, you know, and so th- this year I have really told myself, like, I cannot keep stressing myself over the things I can't control anymore. And um, it's really made me feel like I have a bigger purpose. And I think also when you understand that things are going to be a mess and that's okay. You have to get through that messy period and then be able to be like, all right, pull the shit together. You got to pull it together. You got to do better. You got to fix it. You know, so any problem, I'm like, I believe that I could probably fix it. And if I can't fix it, I got to let go because there's just nothing more that I could physically do. Mm-hmm. So, you know. So how do you balance being a mom and a baby on in the middle of a pandemic? I don't balance. My <laughs> son don't eat when he read. Now I'm joking. Like he eats cereal for day. You know, like I don't know. Balance is, you know, I've been talking about this. It's balance bullshit. And you know, I think for me, I'm keeping him alive. Somebody was like, "How is he?" I'm like, "He alive. He don't need nothing. He he cool." You know, and that's and that's one of and I'm just making sure his education is better. I think now I'm at a place where, thankfully, financially, I'm getting to a different space. So I've hired a nanny, hired a personal assistant. You know, I can I have a I hired a tutor for him. It's difficult with the pandemic, and you know, and I think that me being an entrepreneur is even more difficult because um I feel bad where Saturdays, Sundays we might be at the shop. So now I'm like hire somebody, let them take him out, and let them fulfill certain parts that I might feel like I can't do. Okay. For quick flex, how many other establishments can we find that's in the bottom? Um, like stores mm-hmm. or places? I mean, we have like oh, you just trying to make me say that we're in Target right now? Is that oh, what you? Oh, is that that is that what you trying to do? <laughs> so yes, you can find that's in the bottom in Target. You know, over fourteen hundred stores right now. I almost forgot that. I'm like, wait, where? You want me to name our wholesalers? Like, but yes, we are nationally in Target right now. Okay, as a business owner, what is um, one thing that is like true to you that you neglect? but you're working to perfect it? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, Something I'm neglecting, but I'm working to perfect it is neglecting myself. Okay. You know, I do a really bad job at probably protecting myself or, you know, maybe keeping people around in spaces longer than they need to be just because I'm like, I like them though. <laughs> or, you know, um, not maybe doing what's best for the business because I'm like, I want to keep, you know, so... And stretching myself too thin. Mm-hmm. So I think, like, I'm probably more hard. I'm hard on myself because I want this to be great. I want to feel like I'm doing the best job that I can. So I think that that's part of it, too. But um, 
Yeah, I'm just, this year, I'm really like, if you want to run, run. If you want to rest, rest. If you want to, you know, relax and go on vacation, you know, COVID with the mad, do that. Like, do things that make you happy, that make you smile, that make you, you know, because life is short. I'm like, the business is cool, but at the end of the day, I really have to preserve me. Yeah. All right. Has any dude ever, like, come to the shop to purchase something just to, like, try to come and get at you? Um... How you know a girl ain't come to the shop, kid? You asking like, they be like, what's that? I know some girls. Um, uh, let me see. I got flowers a couple of times um, from some, you know, messengers. But listen, I like flowers. So how I feel is like this. I, I like things. And I think that if anybody's truly interested, they should do a better job at becoming noticed. Um, I might be busy, but I think that if you want to be noticed, you put your stuff out there, you send fly, you send card every Monday, you make sure that you do send it. <laughs> so at this time, nobody, it, it ain't noticed yet. So, you know. All right, last thing. Can you give us a quick mess freestyle? Ooh. <laughs> no. Uh, I, she from Brooklyn, that's it. Uh, that's all I got. You got me trying to rat. Look. on my raps okay next time when you come here next time i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little a, a little one too all right, all right. All right? Cool. <laughs> you're very welcome always